Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Frames Automation Destination. So in our previous lecture of BDD Cucumber series, we discussed about utilization of singleton and factory design patterns in BDD Cucumber for driver initialization. In case you have not already looked into my previous video, I'll request you to please go back to my previous video and understand more on how to utilize singleton and factory design pattern in BDD Cucumber. Now let us discuss about another important topic that is parallel execution which is a widely asked question in interviews for automation QAs. Okay, as we have covered this is so far using JUnit 4. So we are going to first discuss about parallel execution using JUnit 4. We will discuss about the challenges of JUnit 4 and then we will talk about the remediation. Okay, so when we use JUnit 4 so JUnit 4 first of all does not have its own mechanism to run the test cases in parallel. To run the test cases in parallel need to rely on Surefire plugin. And even after having Surefire plugin it cannot run test cases in parallel. What it can do? It can run feature files in parallel. And as you are aware that in BDD Cucumber one scenario means one feature file. One scenario means one test case sorry and under one feature file we can have multiple scenarios meaning multiple test cases right but JUnit along with Surefire plugin cannot run the test cases within one feature file to be run in parallel in fact it can run two feature files in parallel right so without further delay let me demonstrate it from the code side so if you'll observe what I have done so we, as we have mentioned that we have uh, form.xml, we are using Maven project. So we need to have Maven Surefire plugin. This this part you need to get it from the official documentation. I'll be sharing the link of same. And you need to provide Maven Surefire plugin. And under that, under the configuration section, we need to provide these three, three parameters mandatorily. Thread count can be changed with unlimited threads to mark it as true. But I'm using thread count, so you can use that part, that. Uh, tag as well. I'll be sharing the tag as well, alternative tag I mean. So includes is responsible to include the runner. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to locate the runner within this structure. So star star stands for root and then after we are locating this runner folder and under that what we are trying to do, we are looking for that file which ends at runner.java. So if you look at it, this particular file is ending at runner.java. So that Tomorrow, for example, if you make it UI runner or UI automation runner or automation runner, everything will fit into this includes, right? You don't need to modify it again and again, right? Then parallel to make, to run this uh, runner in parallel, right? And then after the next step is once we have set up this basic building block, what is the next step? We need to go to resources section and uh, we need to create one folder under resources. I have created features to be run in parallel and then I need to move those feature files which I want to run in parallel so I have created two feature files google.feature and source demo.feature these are some basic examples wherein in one case I am launching google.com and in another case I am launching source demo.com right now once we have set up or moved these feature files under one folder the next step is move to uh, UI test runner or runner right now in features section of this cucumber options section in runner what we need to do we need to point to this particular folder so if you look at it i have pointed this to features to be run in parallel and then we need to comment this tag section because we are going to run feature file in parallel right now once we are done with everything it is ready to run in parallel but there is another challenge because in our last lecture we discussed about creating uh, using the singleton design pattern and with singleton design pattern and so far we discussed about sequential execution for so for sequential execution when we are using singleton design pattern we need a single instance of driver what if we talk about parallel execution means for each thread we need a singleton instance right so how to achieve that so we can convert the singleton design pattern into thread local or thread safe kind of design pattern singleton design pattern so i have converted this singleton design pattern into thread local format you don't need to worry about it i'll be covering this in the separate video in the design pattern series 
uh, soon maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow right so i have simply converted into thread local so that each thread can have a single instance of the driver okay now once we have everything ready uh, apart from it everything is safe so i haven't made any changes in hooks i'm simply using the code previously only change which i brought in is in the singleton is i converted this driver into thread local format and i'm using thread local kind of mechanism right so you don't need to worry about this thread local and all i'll definitely cover it for sure now the next step is we need to run it right so to run this test cases in JUnit, we need to use ambient test because we are relying on maven show fi plugin so to run the test cases in maven what we need to do we need to type in ambient test you can use ambient clean test or ambient test right so if i'll run what will happen it should launch two two browsers one should launch google and another should launch source demo so if you will observe this one has launched google.com and then there is another one which got which has launched sourcedemo.com so this is how we can achieve feature level feature level parallelism using junit4 and this is one of the challenge as well because in real time we are not required to run these feature files in parallel in fact we are required to run the scenarios within the feature file to run in parallel so this is uh, what we wanted to cover uh, in this particular session and in the next video we are going to discuss about how to remediate or how to run the test cases in parallel using test engine thank you